What you guys been doing anyway? Yeah? What do you guys figure? Hey? Eh? What do you guys figure? How's my guys been doing anyway? I better just look at something first. Hang on. Yeah, I better just look at something first. Yeah. How you guys doing? Huh? What's going on, my little friends? Actually, you know, I gotta check that uh, I actually turned it on. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hang, on. Hang on, you guys. You guys are fantastic. Man, you guys are some good dogs. Jay Wits. How's my buddies, huh? How's my buddies? What are you guys doing anyway? How's my buddies, huh? There's all my guys, boy. So I'm out here today. I got the Kai and Karoo babies. I moved them outside today. So we're having a fun time out here. And they're about five weeks old. And just fat, healthy. Oh my goodness. Nice bunch of pups. Really doing good. These are Norwegian outcomes. So we're on uh, what's called lockdown or isolation. To uh, help the uh, control and the spread of the evil Wuhan virus unleashed on us all. Uh, our frontline healthcare workers are doing a great job. I'm in BC, Canada. And uh, BC's really done good work. All of Canada's done good work. Don't get me wrong. We, uh, we need to improve in some areas, but uh, overall, doing pretty good. And uh, we, may, we may be in shutdown for a bit longer, which we, we have to bite the bullet. And if, if that's the call that the health guys are saying we need to make, we, uh, I'm, I'm doing the best I can to help them out. I'm staying home, staying put, doing doing what I can do to limit the spread and the risk. Not create havoc, uh, not 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 do anything that would cause a problem. So I've been spending a lot of time with dogs and hiking and doing things in the yard and cleaning pens. And the snow is just about gone. I'll get one more snowstorm, but it's pretty good right now. And. Uh, we're pretty happy. So these little guys, they're they're a fantastic litter. This is Karoo and Kai, and uh, these are fourth generation pups for me. And I have all four generations in the yard too. Now these are hundreds of generations old, and Karoo's genetic lineage is just the first time it's been in North America. Kalia had she was just right there. She had the first litter. I have her daughter here. What do you guys think? Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. If I let you guys out, you'll be hunting. Peru's genetic is out of Finland. And uh, they're hunters. Well, so is Kai a hunter, too. They're best hunting lines in the world. Best family dogs you can find. Really old genetics. So this particular genetic, of course, can trace all the way back to the start. For those of you that don't maybe know this little tidbit, but the uh, Kennel Club of Finland is one of the oldest in the world. It's the oldest of the Scandinavian ones. It's extremely old. That, that, uh, that organization is uh, one, of the, one of the top in the world, of course that whole association. You better come up here, big fatso. What have you been doing anyway, mister? Oh, my boy. I think he's good. You're eating my boot back there. You're eating my boot. 
The old guys are eating my planks. I just put these new cedar planks up. I cut them on the sawmill. And I just confined these guys for a day or two in this little zone here. Because middle of the night, sure enough, one will be way over there on the first night out about midnight. And who's got to come and get them? There's nobody else here. Just me. So I can find these rascals so that they don't get lost the first night. Once they got a night or two, then I can pull them down. But I'll probably leave them for four or five nights. It's pretty cold at night. It freezes hard. So I... Uh, you guys better get over here. Come here. What are you guys doing? Who's eating my shoe? Same big guy? Is this the same big fella? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you love that shoe. You're a shoe eating monster. You're a shoe eating monster. It's like your grandpa. Great grandpa, isn't it? Great grandpa. Uh, Bram is the grandfather. Bram. And Camus. Is the grandfather on Karu's side. Like, that's Karu's dad. He's, kind of, he's a moose hunting champion. Beautiful dogs, these dogs. Yeah. So these dogs are on full feed. We feed raw. So they're eating. And uh, right now, they're eating a half a pound amongst the five of them in the morning and a half a pound at night but I gotta I gotta increase that now so I'll put two patties out in the or I mean uh, sorry let me correct that I'm already putting two patties out in the morning two patties at night so that's a pound and a pound I increased it already because they were going out they were on a half now they're on a pound so they eat a pound between the five of them right now and I'm going to boost them a little more soon because they're growing like wildfire now. And uh, Pets Go Raw is the food I use, so you can find that pretty much anywhere online to source a distributor. It's an extremely good raw product. But you can make food for these guys by hand, easy. I did that for years. I got lots of articles on the website about how to feed them raw. This big female is going to stay with me, this big fatso here. The other one's going out to Canmore. That's probably her right there. Is that, is that you? Is that you, that big girl? You better come here. No, you're a male. Holy cow. What a tough rascal you are. You're a tough rascal. Beating up on that female. So where's that female? Where is she? I don't know which one she is. They're all the same. I only know the one. But I'll get them sorted now they got their personalities and stuff coming out. Yes, you're a good boy. You're such a good boy. You're a good boy. You better get out here, big fella. You guys are just tearing up that bark. You guys are tearing that up. Yeah, what a lovely set of dogs. Oh, my goodness. So I'm really hoping that I have another litter coming soon. Tuba's Brett, that's the half-sister to Kai. Her dad's Bram, too. Her mother was Kemp. So I'm hoping that Tuba caught. I can't tell you it's too early, but I'll know soon. But I took some pictures of these guys out here and uh, got a few pictures, and I will put this video up so people can see the pups that are coming. Uh, awesome dogs, these dogs. This Karoo combination with my genetics grew up. Pretty unbelievable. You can't screw up with the females I have. They're just so good. And the males I bring in are the very best in the world. So it's, it's just uh, every, every litter is fantastic. Every dog is fantastic. You don't get bad dogs. You just They're all the very best. But when you got the entire best genetics in the world, it's not exactly a surprise, right? So yeah, good to have these little guys to keep me busy in the 
quarantine, I'll be hiking right away. Snow is just about out of the mountain here. I got, I still got quite a bit, but it's, uh, it's going to go soon, and then we can take these guys and go. I got Possel right here. He's in the watch guard on that side. I got Pretty Boy Leaf right here. He's sleeping right here. I got Tupac right out back, right, right behind this pen. So he's what they got. They got a big male on all three sides. Be some crazy uh, wild man show. Anything comes through to get these guys. That gate stays open. It's got a thing on the bottom, so nine dogs can come flying right into the pen. So you wouldn't want to be a stray cat or something. Get snuffed out pretty fast. I mean, a full tilt mountain lion walk in here and he'd be toast. He wouldn't leave. Cause Ark. He's right there too. He'd come right over. Tico and Mon, Dakota. Yeah, you quit whining. Quit whining. This is your whiner. Quit whining. Squaw rat. Quit squaw rat. You're so spoiled. You're so spoiled. You're so spoiled. She's spoiled. She's spoiled. She's a spoiled rat. She gets away with everything. She gets away with everything. Yeah, what a group of dogs. So yeah. So there's no uh, no cat problem around here. No feral cats come through. Now, if these dogs are raised with cats, they're totally fine. Every family has a cat and they raise the pup with the cat. They get along just fine. They're actually best buddies. But in a breeding operation like this, dirty cat comes through, snuffed out, just left the broad, wrong place to hunt. But not like we're a couple hundred square miles around us with nothing, so there's no stray cats here. <laughs> so we're not cat killers. <laughs> but you guys would tackle one. You guys would take them on. You guys would take on a weasel. Weasel might give you a hard time, but... You'd sink your chompers into them. But uh, they don't start really uh, um, taking on anything for, for a little while. they got to be a little bit old. They would just do a bunch of screaming. But let out a scream. Oh, goodness. It would be just wild. Dogs be flying in here, bro. Kai especially. Yeah, jam done. Everything. They'd be just flying. Boss will be freaking. Leaf. Leaf can clear that fence. So if there was anything, fox, anything in here, boy, he'd be right over. But I got all the big boys on the perimeter. So our key runs the far back I'm on the other side. And I got Karoo over there running that side. So it's just it's impossible. It's like a fortress. Pretty secure. Alright you guys, since as you're just sitting around doing nothing. Yeah yeah yeah, you better get up here. Come on. Let me fly. Alright. Let me fly. Don't be fooling around. Get up here. Get up here. Get over here. Yeah yeah yeah. Get up here. Yeah yeah yeah, you get up here. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you're so spoiled. You're so spoiled. You're so spoiled. I might have trouble training that dog. Oh, Clea. That's, or that's Vida. Jeez, Vida. I was trying to say you're in a lot of trouble, Vida. Kai sees you in here. Nessa, you better come say hello to him. Come here, Nessa. Come on, Nessa. Nessa probably won't chance it. Nessa won't chance it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, get, get up here. Good, good, good. But, but, you're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Yeah, get up here. Get up here. 
<laughs> All right, that was a good video. Nessa, you want to come say hi? No? Okay. You know, I better be careful, boy. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out.